before I get started with the video, I want to thank you guys for watching my recent videos. And since I got a decent amount of likes and a decent amount of support uh, for my free um, asset, environment asset, um, I'm going to um, be giving away a free mesh. And I'll explain the details um, inside the video somewhere. And uh, you guys can um, listen to it and then... And yeah, you guys will understand uh, what it's all about. Hello everyone. Um, this is the first tutorial of my ch on my channel. And today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a stylized rock. So let's get started. So first we have a cube and it's really ugly. So let's delete it. Um, even though I actually like cubes, but whatever. We're going to delete it and we're going to put in Icosphere uh, by doing Shift A and then just like clicking Icosphere. Afterwards, you click tab and you want to click three so I can select faces and I'm just going to click this and I'm going to click O or you could just click this button and you could do, and I'm going to click G and then click Y so I can move on the Y axis and I'm just going to click G again um, to move on the X axis. I mean, I'm going to click G to move and then click X to move on the X axis and I'm just going to keep doing this with G, Y, and then maybe like G and then uh, click Z so I can move it on the Z axis. And I'm just going to keep doing that until it looks like uh, a decent rock. So I'm just going to do this. I think this looks a bit weird. I'm going to click one so I can select vertices. I'm going to click G, Y, uh, maybe over here, G, Y, over here, G, Y. Um, okay, this is really ugly. I'm um, just going to click this, GX, okay, GY, I'm just going to keep doing this, and maybe over here, GZ, and it's starting to look a bit better, and I'm just going to leave it like that, because right now we're going to sculpt it. So now I'm going to um, go back to edit mode, I'm going to click A. And if you want to go back to edit mode, you can click here and then you can switch modes. And then I'm going to click A to select everything. Right click, subdivide. And I'm just going to subdivide until I can't really see anything. Uh, I'm just going to subdivide one more time. And I'm just going to click sculpting right up here. And now we're going to click this button called scrape. And what it does, it is scrapes off the edge. So I'm just going to um, click this shrink, make it max. And I'm just going to scrape all these edges. And if you want to make your brush bigger, click F. And you can make it really huge. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to like scrape a lot until it looks like a rock. Scrape, scrape, but scrape. And then also, if you guys want to smooth the edges, you can click this button, smooth. And it will smooth a lot. I'm just going to use scrape because I really like scrape. Scrapes are awesome for rocks. And I'm just going to click F, uh, move my mouse so I can make this a bit smaller. And I'm just going to like scrape, scrape, scrape. And it's starting to look a bit better. And I'm just going to like scrape a bit more at the bottom. I kind of want to add something here. Okay, now it looks pretty decent. Um, now we need to add a bit more details and you guys can leave it like this because honestly it just looks fantastic um, But um, if you guys want to add a bit more details you can add some holes So I'm going to use the draw tool and I'm just going to click command, hold command and then just like click Click a bit um, just going to click F to make my mouse a bit smaller I'm just going to do this, hold command click, hold command, click. And when you hold command, it does the opposite of what the brush do. So like when you use draw, it creates a bump, right? But then if you hold command, you can see it creates a dent. So that's what command does. It basically does the opposite of what the brush does. And I'm just gonna add some more holes, maybe make this a bit smaller, increase my shrink, so I can create deeper holes. Boom, 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 boom. And add a bit more kind of want to add more and there you go you got a really crappy rock and 
Yeah, now it's almost done. Now we're gonna click um, this rock. We're gonna go back to object mode by just clicking over here and click this. Shift D, right click, so it goes back to its original spot. Click this, rename to low. And rename the other mesh to high poly. And why are we doing this? So we can distinguish which uh, mesh will be high poly or which mesh will be low poly, which means it has the least, a, a lot less triangles or something like that. So I'm gonna click this button to hide the high poly mesh. I'm gonna click modifiers here. And then I'm just gonna click add modifier. And then where's decimate? Decimate here. And what this does is it reduces the number of faces. So I'm gonna click over here, 0.00125. Um, just a random very low number so I can reduce the face count now it looks like 408 um, not bad so I'm just gonna click command A and when you do command A um, it applies the modifier perfect now we're just gonna close go over here oh wait, actually no before that unhide the high poly mesh click the low poly mesh click over here add a shrink wrap click over here target make sure it's the high poly mesh as the target, click this button, and then Command A. Afterwards, come go to Tab for your low poly mesh. U, Smart UV Unwrap, 0 0.01, and the Island Margin. And then click OK. OK, this looks good. And make sure um, it looks like it looks like it was UV unwrapped. Um, this looks good. And after that, you're gonna export both of these things out. So. I'm just gonna select these two. And if you guys have like the add-on, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna um, export these separately. So first click the low, click file, export, FBX. I'm just gonna name this low and click selected objects because we wanna only um, export the low poly stuff. So I'm just gonna name this low rock, low. And export, gonna click the other mesh, which is high poly gonna click export FBX again and we're just gonna do the same thing except we're gonna make this high make sure it's selected objects export and there we go um, it's gonna take a while and that's um, the and now we're done with blender so I'm just gonna name this random file now we're done um, you guys need to get substance painter but the thing is like substance painter is ridiculously expensive so in order to get Substance Painter um, for free, you guys will follow this video. Um, it's not a scam because it's actually from the legit Adobe website. And um, right now I'll just go over uh, what this video is talking about. So right here, he's just like yada, yada, yada. And he's just talking and talking and blah, 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 blah. And after that, he's going to this website. I'll put it in the description, also in the YouTube comments. And you guys will click this, um, get your free license. And after that, you see, um, you'll have to log in or create an account. And after that, you'll see this. So first you wanna click student, um, put your uh, name. Um, you could just put fake names, I don't, it doesn't really matter. And you're gonna put your fake university. Make sure it's a real university, but just put a fake one. And um, after that, um, um, put a bunch of random fake information like studies and for this picture um, you need you can put a random picture like a Fortnite picture or just a scribble and um, this may look really sus but um, it really did work and honestly I'm not really sure if it's like illegal or not but I think it's it's okay to download it um, because um, this is from first of all it's from the official Adobe page and second of all they actually do not check um, the picture because uh, when I sent a random picture of scribbles they immediately gave me um, substance painter which means that they actually didn't analyze the paper so it means that it's kind of Adobe's fault for um, letting us get substance painter for free and after doing this um, it's pretty quick you can get your license here. You can check over here. Just click the download button and then you can get it for free for 365 days. And then there you go.
And also, um, you guys will also have to download smart materials. And I will send you guys the link. Um, this is a YouTuber. Um, he's pretty awesome. He made a YouTube video about um, making stylized rocks. And basically, um, you guys will need to get your smart material. So just like um, put zero here, just get now, put your email, and then um, it'll bring you to this page. And right now I'm just gonna download. So you're gonna download the zip file. It's gonna take a while, 15 MB, not bad. And just as it's doing that, I'm just gonna get my substance painter out. And then you basically it'll be done from there. So let's click XX, we're gonna click file, new, and we're gonna click select. After clicking select, you have to click your low poly rock. Click open, okay. And it's gonna take a while. Okay, now we have this. Um, to move your camera, hold alt, and then click your left uh, mouse. And then you can click hold alt, and also click a uh, middle mouse, so you can drag it like this. And yeah, it looks pretty good. And after that, we're gonna click texture set settings, bake mesh maps over here. We're gonna click over here, make it 1000 by 20, 1024 by 1024. Click this button, and then you're gonna put your high poly um, mesh. So the high poly rock. After that, you're gonna click anti-elasting, um, two by two. And then after that, bake. Okay. And now you got your um, rock. And I'm just gonna look around if there are any weird um, sides where it doesn't look right. Um, this actually looks really good. So like, if you guys ever get any errors on the um, rock, and it looks like there's some really dark spot that shouldn't be there, um, click Bake Mesh Map and just change these values. Like, just increase this by a bit, and then um, read, um, click this button so you can fix those um, small edges. And after that, you got your rock. But we need to get your stylized uh, material. So we're gonna click File. We're gonna click Import Resources. And after that, Add Resources. After that, um, I'm gonna get my downloads over here, Smart Material. This is the thing that you downloaded from this website. I'm gonna click my zip file, Open. And it looks like it didn't work because I think actually I'm supposed to extract the zip file. So, oops. Um, just gonna go over here, Finder. Oh my God, I have so many files. And I'm just gonna click over here. Right click, open archive with utility. It's gonna take a while. Okay, now it looks better. And then we have all this stuff. So after that, um, we're just gonna click here, add resources, and then we're gonna um, click the smart materials. And I think, yeah, we'll just click these two. Just hold shift, click, oh, actually, no, you could just click the folder, I think. And then you click open, and oh yeah. And then you just like click all of this, open, and this looks good. Import resources to um, project untitled import and then you click yes and now you have all these materials great now after that um, you can put your rock material just like drag this put it on here got your rock there you go and then you put your moss and you just put your moss and now you got your stylized rock now what if I want to change the color because um, yeah kind of looks ugly then you can go over here you see here it says base color just click this you can change the color over here by clicking this and then I can make it like, uh, let's make it grayish. And um, if you wanna remove this um, pink highlighting, you can always change it over here. Just like change it, make it a bit grayish. Maybe I wanna make it a bluish. It doesn't really matter. And you can like just mess with these colors and yeah. And now let's say um, this, um, there's too much like edge showing on the rock. Well, this is caused by the curvature map. I'm not going to explain too much because it's not part of the tutorial, but you can click over here, curvature, um, go over here, I think it's global balance, yeah. And I just like increase this, I think. 
it should work. Oh no, no, actually it's decrease. If you decrease, it should work. Yeah, there you go. Now it looks like, uh, it looks a bit better. And now, there you go. Now you got a mossy rock. And if you guys don't want the moss, you can always erase it. And after that, you're gonna go here, file, um, export textures. Um, put it out here. I'm just gonna actually export it over here. Um, and then you click export. Now that you're done, you're gonna go to Roblox Studio and don't forget to save this. I'm just gonna name it random thing. Probably gonna delete it because so many rocks. And after that, you're gonna go to Roblox Studio. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna click new. I'm just gonna create a base plate. Um, let's go over here, Roblox Studio. Okay, and now I'm gonna right click, insert object, find a mesh part, I um, type it in, click mesh part, now I got the mesh part. After that, click mesh ID, and then select your low poly mesh. So I think it should be somewhere here. Okay, there we go. Rock lol. Click no, 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 or yes, yes. It doesn't really matter as long as you get it here. Now that you got your rock, um, I'm just gonna move this a bit up and click texture ID. Hmm, actually, for some reason, it's not letting me put it. I think I have to like enable some stuff here. Wait, it's gonna take a sec. Probably just gonna cut this out. Publish. Okay, now I'm gonna add image. Choose file. And let's find the rock. So I'm gonna find my rock. Click base color. Default material base color. Open. Create. And then, there you go. Now you got your stupid looking rock and you, you guys can use it as you guys wish. And I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it wasn't too boring and long. And yeah, and good luck with your games. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now I'll be talking about the giveaway. So um, here I'll show you the picture and um, here, um, I'm giving away a portal, and if I reach 20 subscribers, then um, you guys will get it for free. And I'll send you guys the Blender file, Substance Painter file, and uh, literally everything. And, and yeah, good luck, and I hope you guys subscribe, lol.